All right, I want to talk a little bit about what we'll call vibrating sanders. You know, a random orbit, it has a long stroke and goes in that direction it does. And that, that longer stroke and whatever, that, that's what keeps it from leaving, you know, surface scratches for the most part. But here's two. This is a detail sander. And this is one of those little jitterbugs, what we call them. Or, you know, they make them, I think, quarter sheet, whatever, clips on. And a lot of people like these. Now, the one we have is air operated. Most of them are electric. Uh, there's another one out there, you know, the, the little mouse, I think Black and Decker makes or whoever. And, it, you know, it's kind of a little triangle. One of the things, these are excellent for getting into tight spaces. You know, if you've got a drawer or something and you're trying to sand into a corner, this will let you. The issue with these is the short stroke. Now, what, what happens is it, it's just a little quick hook. Now, if you've ever sanded something with one of these, and you get to look, you put your stain on, and you get to see in these curly cues, and you get to see, <laughs> we call them squigglies, and, and they look, kind of look like a fish hook in there. These are notorious for creating that. Um, again, it's, it's the stroke. One of the best ways that I've found, if you're using these, is to jump a grit, go one finer grit. And again, particularly as we talked about in the sandpaper segment, if you're using something like I've got that uh, Abernet on here, or Zirconia grit, or a really aggressive grit, it's going to be worse. So jumping a grit really helps that. Um, you know, I think probably every woodworker in the world, somewhere when they first start, they start out using pine. Um, or white wood, whatever they can get at the box store, that, that's the, usually the first projects to get made. And if you, if you go buy some shelving board at the box store and you get you a mouse, um, you will get squirrelies, squigglies, curly cues, fish hooks, and the whole, the whole you, you, you're going to understand what I'm, you'll get the whole deal. Because there's nothing in the world worse than pine. Um, I guarantee you there's been more woodworkers gave up on woodworking because they didn't want to buy an expensive wood, so they started using pine. What they didn't know is this one of the hardest woods in the world to finish and finish decently. But this is about the sanders. Again, jump a grit. The other thing is once you've sanded something with these, if you can just hand sand or block sand just a little bit with the grain, that helps a lot to smooth them out. Um, you know, this one's actually, it's got a little bit of stain on it from something, but it's actually in pretty good condition. And we've had it for a good while. It's an excellent little sander. Um, I find that these are far worse than these. Um, I shouldn't tell this. I had a little one of these. And I, I guess it was just that particular, it was electric. And I don't care what you did or how you did, this thing was just leaving them big fish hooks. And I was sanding it, and one day I go out and I grab this thing by the cord, and I get her orbiting, and it's about 50 feet from my door to the dumpster, hole in one. Hey, this is about telling the truth in 40-some years of doing this stuff. I'm not a fan of them. I, I do not like those little, I hate them <laughs> with a passion. All right, enough for vibrating sanders.